Hello and welcome to Three Questions With. Got my friend Electra with us. Going to talk a little bit about coaching in this segment. Hey, Electra, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's great to be here. So your timing to me is really good because there's some challenges no one's seen in their lifetime coming up for business mm. owners. And I'm finding a lot of business owners are scared because we're doing our best to make decisions based on information we don't have. No one knows when this is going to end, how long it's going to take, and what's on the other side of it. Is that where a coach comes in to kind of help make those decisions? Yeah, I mean, what you're describing is is so true for so many businesses that this is unprecedented times. And the playbook that you are running may not be the playbook that you need to do going forward. And so you're in this moment in which figuring out what your next steps are. How do you, in some case, survive the next six months? How do you potentially look for different opportunities that you hadn't planned on? And, um, and then how do you then bring your team along? How do you bring your clients along? All of that. It's, 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 a, it's a very interesting time to be a small business owner. And like I said, it's challenging because many of us have employees. And mm -hmm. you, can't, you know, can't just go, hey, you know what? I don't know if we're going to be here next week. You know, as the boss, no one wants to hear that. You know, I mean, again, there's, there's a time and place when we have to have that talk, but yeah. you have to have that presence to you, that leadership and say, okay, here's the plan. This is how we're going to get through it. Because yeah, if, you're, if you're looking shaky, then, you know, your people are like, oh my God, you know, if Kevin thinks we're not going to make it and he's the boss. Yeah. So you can't do yeah. that, right? No, you know, you talk a lot with a business owner about what it means to lead a team. And the notion of um, being very realistic about what's going on for your business, for your industry, and, and what's going on in the economy, and being as transparent as you can with all your employees, because this is a moment in which you're trusting each other. You're trusting each other to do, perform as best we can in the circumstances and that everyone's gonna be pulling together. So you have an opportunity to build this moment in which you, your team bonds in a way that they never have to, to go after something, to survive together. And, uh, and these are the moments that you're like, you're, you're, you're bonded for life. I don't care what happens in your career. Yeah, absolutely. You're, oh, you're yeah. connected, it, but it takes, yeah. showing up that way. It does. Like you said, there's the difference, you know, you have to, Hey, here's the plan. You know, this is what I need. I need trust. And I need you guys to believe that we're going to pull through this. And this is what, I'm, this is what I'm going to bring to you as your leader. And this is what I need from you. Communication is the key. It's interesting when we talk about coaching because I have friends that have tried coaching before and mm. the problem is they're not coachable. You know, I, I had a friend, he's like, oh, I'm getting a coach. I'm like, that's good because you need it. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, you think you have all the answers, bud, and you don't. But can I ask you for a favor? You know, it's not really my favor. Listen to your coach. So you have to be willing to listen and accept it. In some cases, criticism, you know, or suggestions yeah. of better ways to do things. If, you, if you're not open to it, it's not going to work. It, it's, what you're saying is very true. Well, it's one of the first things in the discussion uh, when I'm talking to someone who's is interested in coaching is really talking about the fact that there are times in which this is not a comfortable conversation. Uh, uh, we're going to be probing in areas that uh, may be a blind spot, but that blind spot may be the very thing that's holding your business back. And by unveiling it and going after it may be the differentiator. And so being willing and brave enough and vulnerable enough and all the, all the things that says, okay, you know, take your armor off. This isn't the place to say everything's fine. I'm awesome. You know, uh, this is the place to look very closely at what's happening and say, what, what might be possible? And what if we start tweaking, um, how do we get someplace that you want to go? Um, you know, understanding someone's personal vision and the vision they have for their company is, is also a very foundational thing. And so as a coach, you keep that front and center. And as a part of how you're saying, it's like, but does this make any sense with what you're trying to do? Let's not lose course, but let's, let's be creative about how we go at it. I think that's really important right now because one of the things I'm seeing 
is people trying to make money. I respect mm. it, but we're running in different directions. And like you said, you got to come back to the center of, okay, what is our goals? You know, what's the plan here? Yeah. yeah, there may be things we have to do to just kind of bring in some revenue, but when we're trying to do so many different things and we're not doing them well, in the end, we could be hurting our brand too, right? Yes. Oh, absolutely. And if you're, you're kind of just going at whatever comes at you and there really isn't a plan, like you really haven't thought about like which opportunities actually make sense. Uh, what clients are actually profitable uh, for us that we should be going crazy to save them? Because the answer is it's not everybody. True. You know, typically, and that there's that moment that you take, and this is really hard for a business owner because so much is coming at them. That moment that you take to think strategically about where is our most important, say it's three things. Where's my top three things that I truly, this is our path. And if we do these three things well, we're going to get through this. It's not 10 things, it's three. Now let's go. <laughs> and so let's focus and let's focus everybody. So you don't want everyone kind of going, you know, you don't want your team doing the same thing. Let's just go after everything. Sure. So. The last thing we want to highlight today is the importance of having a coach. When you look at every great athlete, every great business owner, actor, they all have coaches, you know, Tom Brady as a, as a coach, everyone yeah. has them. And when people look at it that way, they go, huh, you know, yeah, there is a need, you know, you think, oh, that's the greatest business person there is. Well, if you, you talk to them, you're going to find a, they probably have a coach or maybe even more than one coach helping them in different areas. That's the importance, right? It's, it's so true. And um, when it comes to moving beyond, like, you know, many, many business owners start with great technical expertise and they may love what they're doing and that's what brought them there. But then you're, then you realize I have a whole business <laughs> mm -hmm. and I have a whole business that doesn't necessarily succeed or fail based on the fact that you're an expert in this one area. There's like we talked about managing people, there's your finances, there's, there's managing your suppliers, there's how you exist in this ecosystem and um, help, having someone to talk through the different aspects of running a full business and help uh, keep you focused, help design that plan of action, help get the right people in the right seats to help you. How do you empower them to succeed? These are all ingredients for creating a business that is sustainable and that ultimately, if your goal is to sell it someday, you're walking towards that financial freedom goal that may have been the, the, the thing that drew you as a part of why you started. And a coach creates that environment, helps you focus strategically and helps you execute. I like that a lot because I've seen that numerous times in my life. I have people who are really amazing at what they do and their business grows just because they are amazing. And then all of a sudden look around going, how did I get eight employees yeah. you know, in seven trucks? And, you know, like, yeah. and all of a sudden they're looking and going this, you know, I'm not comfortable with this because I don't know how to manage it. I just want to go back to being that X person without having to deal with all this miscellaneous stuff. And it's just amazing how it just happens. You know, you look around going, wow, you know, I remember when I was working in my basement and now we have this big operation with lots of employees and, you know, all the, it's complicated. the good and bad it brings, you know, you're like, yeah. I didn't sign up for this, you know? Yeah. You no, go it's true. And, and unfortunately it does happen where they do end up going back because, you know, they don't know how to run it and they realize, hey, I just can't do this and stuff. And that's where yeah. it's important to, you know, to, like you said, have that coach and also to manage your growth. Because I've seen yes. people, you know, just explode. I'm like, wow, it's amazing. Like, no, it's not. We're, 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 we have no cash. You know, yeah. we're going really yeah. fast, but, you know, we have no cash flow. You know, everybody owes us money and stuff. So if you have any extra money from account, that'd be good, you know? And so you got to do all things like that, too. How do you manage the growth? It's true. It's true. And, you know, how your time starts getting spent um, and, and the initial team that you build around you, it starts to become some critical uh, things that you put in place to allow for the growth to happen in a way that you don't compromise quality, that the business expands at a rate that you can support and still be, you know, the excellent, whoever you are to the marketplace. You brought up a great point earlier, the right people on the bus in the right mm -hmm. seats. Because what I see is when we start to grow, we go call our buddies. 
hey, you need a job, why don't you come work for me? And, you know, I try to stop my friends from doing this. I'm like, okay, you and Kevin are good friends, you know, but that doesn't make Kevin a good employee for you. Uh, you're a good boss for Kevin. So yeah. when you start mixing family, friends, and business, it's often not a really good idea. <laughs> and it's, you're right, it's so common. Because um, we trust them. The real yeah, you trust, exactly. So that's the wonderful thing, right? You're starting from a place of trust. However, you have to be pretty clear-eyed about what does this job require? What does the, what's the attributes of the person that's needed to be successful in this role? And if it's a trustworthy friend that actually it lines up, but you know, woohoo, let's celebrate. Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, knowing that you can have the type of conversations that you can need to have as a, a, a business owner and an employee. Sure. Um, but you got to start from the realities of the work and the work environment and how, you know, the pace of the environment and the culture that you're bringing and seek to bring the best resources that you can find to meet that. Cause that, that as your business grows, your people are your critical talent equation to getting this done. So Electra, how can people reach out to you? How can they learn more, my friend? Oh, well, I'd love to hear from everyone. Um, you know, so my company is called the Alternative Board of Boston North uh, West. Um, you can email me at Electra at tabbostonnw.com. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn. And, um, and the website is thealternativeboard.com, Boston Northeast. And so happy to explore and happy to talk to you for about 15 minutes if you're curious. Love to, love to have a chat. Awesome. Lecture, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to jump on the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Thank you so much.